Micah, would you say Wayno was spectacular after tossing his first career one hitter? Yeah, that was uh, that was fun to watch. And you, you just kind of watched how he did it too. It was kind of surprising his pitch count got up like it did, but they uh, they fought off some good pitches and you know, just had the the one base runner to worry about today. And uh, overall, just uh, one of those days that we talked about what he's been trying to do: sink it a little, cut it a little, take a little off, you know, raise their sights. He just kind of had. He had a great feel for everything that he threw today, and uh, it had to be a lot of fun. It was fun to watch. Was this one of those games where he was going to pitch in the ninth, or was there some sort of blessing? No, there's always conversation going on. And, uh, you know, we've taken a couple from him, too, where he's right there, but you, know, you don't very often get those opportunities with that, that one hit shut out. And, um, and he hadn't worked that hard. I mean, you look at stress innings. You know, he uh, did a nice job of of being very efficient, so we gave him a few pitches to work with that inning, and he, he, fin- he finished it up. If he allows a base runner, are you go to the bullpen? Depends when that happened. Um, I told him I'd give him, we had a set number of pitches we were going to give him. And, uh, he, uh, he got it done before we got to that number. Going into the game because of the rain out and the extra rest, did you kind of have an idea that there'd be a little bit more time for him to, to go? More pitches? No, no. We just watch how it looks every day. And, the extra day's rest or something will just um, feel it'll help us out later on. But just kind of watching how he was working more so than, than anything else or wasn't any sort of plan ahead of time. You know, we always like our guys going as long as we can have our, our starters going as long as it looks right and they're not laboring too hard. And then you get the opportunity to do something special. Um, I'd like to see him finish it. Mike, last time out, how, how much was that flu inhibiting him? How much was his illness really kind of dragging on him? Um, you know, it's hard to, it's impossible to say. We had that stuff going through the whole clubhouse, and everybody's kind of beat down. And uh, I don't think you rule that out completely, but you know, I don't think you're going to hear any of these guys throwing any sort of excuses out there. But um, you know, he uh, he was zapped there for a couple of days before his start, but he felt good that day. And, uh, yeah, he's um, he's never he's never going to walk away from the challenge of going out there and making it work, no matter how he feels. Did you uh, did you have the meeting about hitting home runs yeah, after you talked did. to us? Yep, yeah, okay. I told him they're allowed now. So we got it cleared. We, we talked about it the other day, though. It seems like the ball's jumping a little bit more again off Adam's bat. And he didn't have the, the brace on today. Just coincidence? Is there? Man, I hope not. I mean, I don't I like that brace. Only because it seems to keep him from hyperextending it. And he's got plenty of power. We watched him launch some home runs in the postseason, and he was wearing that brace. I just, we need him healthy. Um, but he kind of uh, goes goes away from it from time to time. But. I, I'm more concerned about um, him staying in the lineup than anything else. Mike, with uh, Wayno, not only did he have to wait out as a home plate umpire switched out, but also then changing home plate umpires, is that an adjustment for a pitcher when it's a different situation? Didn't seem like he struggled with it. You know, I think uh, typically most umpires are going to take a look at or two at his curveball, and uh, you'll see that early in the game. A lot of times he'll fool an umpire just as badly as he'll fool a hitter. Um, but, uh, no, the umpire jumped in and you didn't see a lot of complaints come from either side, whether with the uh, first umpire or the second. I all your runs came with two outs. Is that yeah. kind of stand out as a positive? Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. Watching watching our guys be able to uh, manufacture something after we do get a couple outs. And, and then the, those big hits, you know, how many, how many times have we talked about it? And, uh, we had it from multiple multiple guys tonight and some really good at-bats. Michael, um, was, was he what circumstance were gotten him in the game, I guess? So far? He either came in that game. Yeah, we get uh, we get to that pitch count that I was talking about, and and uh, but Nishek would have been right behind him and, and uh, ready to go. What have you seen? Uh, this is I think what twenty of twenty one that Johnny Peralta's got on base, and obviously leads the team in home runs. It probably hasn't gone under the radar how much confident or, or more comfortable he's gotten at the plate here. He's, what have you seen from him? I think he's just getting comfortable with uh, with, with the, everything, you know, the league, the team, where he is in this lineup. Um, he's taken some good at bats and had some, some near misses too. Balls he almost was all over. Uh, you know, and he historically hasn't had a lot of success against Arroyo either. So it was nice to see him have a couple big, big at bats for us. But uh, you know, he hammered that homer. That ball was that was not a cheapie. And he's got that kind of power. It's going to be fun to watch him. You know, continue to try and find that stroke. But he's getting big hits for us. Ideally, you'd like him in that run producing as opposed to that number two spot. Or could it go? It'll be wherever. Well, uh, there'll be times when we may need him back up there, but right now 
he's doing a nice job where he is.